another thing that I would probably tell young DJ Irv is, let Atlantic Records sign 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> Because I blocked the nigga till he fell into M and Dre's lap. Damn. Are you serious? Yeah, labels would call me, and I was so hot with I was just the hottest thing thing. So I'd be like, yo, if you fuck with him, I ain't fucking with you. And they were like, we ain't fucking with him then, Gotti. Forget it. <laughs> so I should have let some of them bullshit ass labels or not bullshit labels, but just not labels with M and Dre behind them. Exactly. He had a deal with Sony before he, you know, mm -hmm. he wasn't moving like that. You know what I'm saying? I blocked that nigga into a dream situation. I could God's plan. I hate to say it. It's God's plan. <laughs> it is. That's all God's plans. It's God's plans for this, for whatever's happening now and everything like that. But you asked me if I could go back in the future until I'd have said, yo, play it right. Yeah. Like, see, the herb I am now. I would be like, yeah, sign him, knowing that ain't nothing gonna happen with him over there. Mm. Yes, yeah, sign him, all good. Now this leads me to another question. How the hell have y'all been able to keep up this feud for so damn long? Well, it's a testament to how big we was, I think. I think it's just a true testament, and, and I think it's also a testament to how people were so deeply involved mm. and really felt it or whatever like that, that they won't let it die. They just won't. Anything that I do, I see in my comments, they'll comment something 50 cent or, or whatever. You know, anything he does, I see they comment, nah, oh, well, you this or you that, and they'll at me and at Ja. And it's all good. It's, it's entertaining, I guess, to the people. And it's all good. But I'm not, I'm not really, I have so much things that I'm doing my brain doesn't have any space in it to just even think about the guy on what he's doing or thing. I'm so focused on what I'm doing and the win and to get to that Billy that that's where my mind is. But I understand and I get it. Mm -mm -mm. You know, uh, this 50 cents in Irv Gotti situation, like this whole story, kind of reminds me of sort of like what I've been through in school, traumatizing experience, dealing with people that I thought was in my best interest for me, but really wasn't. They were plotting and scheming to sabotage my work and didn't want to see me shine. Even people on YouTube. 50 Cent was trying to get a record deal at the time before he became a rapper. And those of y'all know the whole story. If y'all hooked on with the whole 50 and John ja Rule saga, the era that happened back in those back in the early 2000s, in that era of the time. Uh, Irv Gotti was pretty much CBing. 50 cents from every record label he was telling every record label don't sign that guy don't sign that guy don't sign that guy. you know what i'm saying so he so 50 was pretty much getting turned down all the time from people but then again you know through the grace of god you know he was watching out for him i mean he 50 cent almost lost his life man been through a lot through the grace of god guess what he got signed to dr dre and he still made multi-millions Despite the fact of how sabotage and evil Irv Gotti is, 50 Cent still provided, still provided, and still was able to eliminate demons and try to take them down in the first place. See, here's the thing. I've had demons in my life that CB'd me from trying to do things that I felt in my heart I had the capabilities of doing it. Even your own parents. We'll see me. This is our part of life, man. Life is a game. Life is an obstacle. You just got to be mentally prepared mentally and be able to fight off people's um, evil encouragements.
You know, I say evil encouragements, man. People have ways of sending out signals to your brain to make you feel like you're incompetent or you're not capable or maybe you shouldn't do this. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard somebody, you ever asked one of your homies or somebody close to you? Ladies and gentlemen, you ever you ever had somebody close to you that you talk to and you you ask them for advice, but for some reason they always they can never give anything that's like more of a positive outlook of what you're talking about. It's always negative, 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 right? There's something not right with that. If somebody continuously keeps giving you a negative advice. Something's not right there. It's either they're going through things in their life and they want you to be miserable just like they are. Or maybe they're just trying to sabotage your shit. Let me tell you something. Sometimes friends don't even give you the best advice. Sometimes they'll leave you in a bucket of crabs. In a bucket of crabs. To bite the shit out your ass. I've had this done to me many, many times. I don't trust people. I've lost a lot of friends in my past. Hold on, let me fix this mic. I stopped fucking with a lot of people back then. There was a lot of people I used to fuck with real heavy. I don't mess with nobody anymore. I don't mess with people no more. I don't talk to people no more. I don't I don't talk to a lot of people anymore. I, I kind of just kept to myself. Because at this point, man, one thing I notice is when you're down and when you're out, nobody's around. You only have yourself. You got to strive for who you are, who you design yourself to be. You cannot, you cannot strive for somebody else's dream. And even with the story between Earth, Gotti, and 50, right? No matter what. The evil forces will try to do to stop you from accomplishing your dreams. You still go get there because you know what? You were destined to be there. You talk about it every day. You got a passion to do this. When you got a passion to do something, let me tell you something. G let me tell you something. Nobody can fuck with you. Just look at it. Look at Bangham Smurf. Look where he is at today. Look at Supreme. Look where he is at today. 50, focus on himself. He wasn't paying no mind to the negativity. Once you got Christ in your heart, once you got Jesus in your heart and your soul, I'm telling you this right now, it's a positive energy, it's a positive energy that goes out that it, it, you can't be fucked with. As evil as this guy was to 50 and all these other demons out here that was trying to stop him at the time, he still prevailed. Earth God, he sound like the biggest hater in the world, and he was even happy on doing that shit. <laughs> I tried to cock block him from trying to get on those record deals, huh? and then I cock blocked him to uh, <laughs> get signed on the drink. I should have just told him, hey, go ahead and sign him. <laughs> Talking about Atlantic Records and all these other phony, you know, low budget record labels, because he said he would have become nothing if he was on that record label, which is true. But at the same time, maybe not. 50 was just a gem. You see, when you have a gem like 50, a gem like Pop Smoke, Pop Smokes was the last gem that was in Brooklyn that had like that sound. You know what I mean by a gem? Like a Biggie Smalls is a gem. Like a Tupac is a gem. Like those type of artists, like your Michael Jackson and your Prince, they're gems. They're like, they're unique artists that come every once, every leap year. You'll find somebody who's special, but guess what? There's always people out there trying to take them out. And unfortunately, a lot of them do get taken out. But, uh, you know, 50 was the last one to prevail, if you look at it. It came from that real rugged street life in New York, and I was able to, you know, still be alive and, you know, blossom to the person that he is. There's not going to be another one. I tell you, because somebody's stopping that force over there in New York, man, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know if y'all really see it spiritually, but, you know, 
hip hop. But you notice that every artist that has that gem, lightness to them, after 50, like your pop smoke, well, he was about to blow. Guess what? He ended up dying before his career got started. <laughs> I mean, it ain't no coincidence. There's always somebody out there trying to take you out. This is why I keep to myself. Even with this YouTube shit, there's people out there that want to take you out. People don't want to see you shine. People don't want to see you make it to the next big thing. Or even get into a lane where you can be the next big thing. They want to knock you off. See, I've always been a given type of human being. So if I make it, I try to help people around me make it. I'm not the type of person to just want to bring somebody else down. But unfortunately, we live in a society where people are dogs, man. People don't care. People are just like, they just don't give a fuck. But, you know. Stay focused on yourself, good people, good righteous people. Stay focused on yourself. Stay focused on your destiny. Stay focused on your purpose in life. Because nobody can stop you from your destiny. Once you're destined to do something, you put your mind to it, and then you'll get there. So even with the snakes in the barrel and the grass that try to knock you off, you're still going to make it. Nobody can tell you what you can do or what you can't do. <laughs> Bitch assness, man. That's why I cut a lot of people off, man. I prosper better alone, but hey, my good wolves that's around me, that support me. Hey, I've had people close to me that, that I knew for 10 years act on some funny shit. I had to cut them off. I had niggas that was cool with me. Thought I was, hey, thought I was real cool with him. <laughs> you know, he invited me to his wedding. We never got an invite. He said he sent an invite. But I know situations with that. You know what I mean? It's a little too personal. There's a lot of shit that happened in my life, man. People guarding to I thought people were cool with me, friends. But it goes deeper than that. I don't even care about it. I, it, it can go to, like, people in high school that I trusted with my life. And then I ended up getting jumped, almost killed. Like, I can tell you so many stories, man. Like, I just... This shit is a doggy dog world out here, man. And it, it made me very not cold, but it made me kind of bitter in a way. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, folks. I'm your host Andrew 26101 show. Those of you new to the show, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, you know the rest. I want to know what you guys think of your life, experiences. Can you guys identify this story to your life, to your lives, between 50 and Irv Gotti? Well, I tell you, there's snakes in every barrel, man. Be careful out there, y'all. I'm out.